What's good, YouTube? As we move into the coming year, BlackBerry is slated to release a brand new 5G BlackBerry running Android sometime in 2021. This device is promised to have a physical keyboard, and there's many theories and and strong opinions among BlackBerry enthusiasts as to what kind of features this new BlackBerry should have. In the meantime though, BlackBerry enthusiasts still have two or three functioning BlackBerries that are running Android and a few other BlackBerries that are running their fan favorite BlackBerry 10 OS. And until the new BlackBerry is either announced or released, You'll be hard pressed to pry either the BlackBerry Passport and or the BlackBerry Classic from the hands of these BlackBerry 10 loyalists. BlackBerry 10 just holds a certain charm with its gestures, reliability, and other BlackBerry centric features that make it very endearing to those that have used it for years. And unfortunately, and this is a big unfortunately, it just doesn't have the app ecosystem to keep up with either iOS or Android. And this is what led to its eventual downturn. The good news is of course, we have a functioning operating system on a new BlackBerry on the way. And hopefully we'll see some version of the BlackBerry Classic form factor in that new BlackBerry. A keyboard and a phone that is one hand operable would definitely sit well with a lot of current BlackBerry enthusiast. But until then, we will have to make do with this current device, the BlackBerry Passport. And one of the best ways to do that, to make up for the shortcomings of the app ecosystem, is with your browser. Yes, you might not have thought so, but the BlackBerry Classics browser is the key to making the bridge between all the functions that you're used to getting from either an iOS or an Android smartphone. In this video, we'll be going over some of the major compatible browsers that are currently working on the BlackBerry Classic and the benefits of using each individual browser and how you can use them to hopefully bridge the gap between some of the functions that you're getting with your apps on Android and or iOS that are lacking on your BlackBerry 10 powered BlackBerry Classic. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So just a little bit of a setup prior to getting into the browsers. All of these browsers that we're discussing here are not the BlackBerry basic browser that comes with the BlackBerry 10 operating system. That browser is still relatively functional, but there's definitely brand new web elements and modern web elements that aren't compatible with the BlackBerry OS browser. To run these new browsers, you'll need an Android runtime environment, which comes standard with the BlackBerry Classic, but you'll also need a functioning Google Play services. Check out my other video description below on how to install Google Play services. You want to make sure the Google Play Store is running in order to install these browsers. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Opera. Yes, one of the earliest front runners of tab browsing is very active on the Android platform. Opera Mini is probably your best bet with the BlackBerry Classic and its penchant for speed and tab browsing really shine on this device. You can download Opera Mini, which is a lighter version of the full version Opera, as I found that the full version of Opera sometimes would crash on the BlackBerry Classic. I found YouTube to be quite speedy on Opera and Google's suite of products also worked quite well using Opera as well. This was a relief as most of the Google Suite apps do not currently work even with Google Play services running on the BlackBerry Classic. So the workaround is to either access them through the browser like Opera or Kiwi browser which we'll come up to next. It's worth mentioning that Opera Mini's tab browsing experience has probably one of the nicest U UIs I've had the pleasure of using on the BlackBerry class in quite a while. Pages are organized quite well and it's quite easy to navigate and create new tabs. And it's nice to see modern touches with a form factor on the BlackBerry Classic that's quite old. Let's hope that whatever the new BlackBerry looks like, that it maintains some of the stylings of the classic as one hand operation with a tab browser like Opera is quite a joy. Kiwi Browser. Kiwi Browser is probably the fan favorite for a working browser that is operational on the BlackBerry Classic. It's probably the slowest of the bunch of all these browsers, but it's definitely the most reliable. 
Websites will take a little bit longer to load, but once they do load, like YouTube here, it's a lot more operational and, and usable compared to some of the other browsers as there's a lot less lag once the web page fully loads. And there's also a lot of reports online of Kiwi Browser being the go-to browser for a lot of banking web services. A lot of the Google suite of products I was able to get running on the Kiwi Browser and of course YouTube is working as well with full video play. One of the nicer options with the Kiwi Browser is the ability to use a full-scale dark mode and this adds a really nice modern aesthetic to browsing the internet on your Blackberry Classic. Download Kiwi Browser today, free on the Play Store. Via Browser. Via Browser is a lightweight browser that offers a very complete and quick Android experience that seems to work very well on the Blackberry Classic. It's able to handle desktop mode and it can also do other features like save pages offline and also features ad block as well. Overall, I found the Via browser just as swift and nimble as the Opera browser and I was surprised to see just how many services and web elevated. It was also one of the easier installations as some of the other browsers required multiple attempts in order to get it running on the Blackberry Classic, whereas Via browser installed on the first try. I was surprised to see just how smooth sites like YouTube was. as videos and ads loaded very smoothly compared to some of the other browsers. Overall, I'm most pleased with the Via browser on the BlackBerry Classic as it really does offer a modern browsing experience on a relatively older phone. You can get it for free today on the Play Store. The BlackBerry browser. Yes, for the sake of completeness, I've decided to include the default BlackBerry internet browser that comes equipped with BlackBerry 10 OS on this list. It's probably the most stable out of all of these apps. However, a lot of stuff that you browse on the internet simply doesn't work. I couldn't get Google Docs to work and I couldn't log into my Gmail using the BlackBerry browser. That being said though, stuff like Wikipedia and basic web browsing is still probably the most optimized on the BlackBerry default browser as shortcuts on the keyboard and the pointing nub is a lot more better integrated on the BlackBerry browser than compared to some of the other browsers on this list. So if you're in a pinch, the BlackBerry browser is still a great way to use the internet while you're on your BlackBerry Classic. The other apps on this list will certainly function as workarounds for certain web-based apps. However, the BlackBerry browser is still good for Google searches and other basic web browsing tasks. So there you have it everyone. Hopefully with these browsers, you should be able to extend the lifetime of your BlackBerry Classic just a little bit longer until we have a new BlackBerry in 2021. So what do you think? Do you have another favorite alternative browser for 